Hey there, once more, I've got another question to answer about the CELTA course for you. So I thought this one could be useful for lots of people. So I'm going to share it out and let's have a look. First of all, the question, it relates to pronunciation. So I'll put it on the screen. I'll paste it into my Word doc. Oh, come on. Let's go large. There. So the question I received was the following. I would like to learn phonemes so that I can write these on the board when I'm teaching vocab. We've had a session on this. Now that's during the CELTA course, but I still haven't got to grips with what they all are and the sounds. Would there be any YouTube videos or websites you could recommend to help me imprint these on my mind? In my mind, sorry. Okay, so yeah, there are quite a few actually that I would recommend. The first one, and I can't get it here because I'm on my desktop, is, I can never remember the exact name of it, is the Sounds Macmillan app. So I'm just gonna walk you through finding these very quickly. And you can see you've got it on Android or on iPhone. Um, let's see if I click on the actual Macmillan website, because Macmillan is a very well-established um, English language content producer. And there you go. This is what you're looking for. You could see instantly, okay, the, you know, you've got the sound there. And version three is now available. Okay, I didn't know there was that one. What I would recommend for this one is you download it on your tablet or iPhone or whatever, your smartphone, and try the free version. It's got lots of nice games and they can be good memory tests. You can actually see it here. If I can read it, it says chart, word, list, practice, quiz time and maybe something else but it's really good and it's really easy to use because it's so focused it's really straightforward very worthwhile even worth recommending to your students and silly me it actually says them here in larger writing so you can see them there as well definitely get that that would be my first recommendation another one now in terms of youtube i would go for this one and i can put the links down below for you Sound Foundations, Adrian Underhill. I wouldn't go PDF. He has done, he does these talks. Adrian Underhill is an expert in pronunciation. He's very well known and he's got some really fun activities. This video, again, it's from Macmillan, hence I thought of it next. You can see um, you've got the hour long lecture. So it's from a workshop he actually does. So that's really good. It makes pronunciation really fun. I'd strongly recommend watching it. And, okay, they've got bite-sized chunks of it here as well, maybe five minutes. I assume that's the same thing. But if you just click on it, it starts, obviously it's YouTube, I'm not going to go into that, but he gets straight into it and he starts asking people to do all kinds of, I'll mute the sound, but funny things with your mouth and really making, as he says, pronunciation of physical activity as it should be. But it's a really nice way of doing it. It's not so much one for learning the phonemes, but it's really for more having fun with pronunciation and so on. So definitely check that one out. Um, another website you can try. It's, it's quite good. It's okay, but it used to be called Lingorado. And it's now changed names. I don't know if it's changed owner called twofonetics.com. Now the only... The nice thing about this one is that you can actually type in full sentences, okay? Now there's a bit more to it. It's not perhaps as nice to use as the Macmillan one, but it does allow you to transcribe stuff very quickly if you've got a whole sentence, which is probably unlikely on a CELTA course, but I don't know. I wish I had prepared a little more for this. So, and I can choose British or American because obviously slight variation in pronunciation, show weak forms, side by side with English text or line by line. Maybe I'll put it line by line. If you don't, it still shows up, but there you go. And it's got, you see it's got it down here. And it's got that spacing, all that you need. And also you can play and it will give you the audio. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but yeah, that one's quite nice because you can see a lot of words very quickly close together in the form of a sentence. So it does it, yeah, nice and easily for you.
Oops. Okay, another one I would recommend is the British Council. And they've got a nice interactive phonemic chart. I don't think I need to write interactive. I can just put phonemic chart, quick Google. It used to be embedded on the website and that was great, but for some reason now they've actually made it a download. But if you don't want to download it, they've got a YouTube video of it playing. Not quite as useful because, you know, you're not controlling it. But anyway, and if, let's have a look. Got the phonemic chart. I'm not sure how this would work on a, um, uh, on a smartphone or tablet, but and I have no idea the difference between these. Let me see if I can get this first one to work. Don't know what SWF is. Shockwave flash object. Wow, still using shockwave flash. Doesn't work. Okay, I have downloaded this before and it did work. Still wish they'd kept it on the website. If anyone from the British Council is watching. Um, oh, and this reminds me how much I need to clean up my computer. Let's see. Oh yeah, T. Okay. So if I just extract that, because it's a zip folder, so right click, extract all. And there, we're into the Adobe Flash. Hope this is gonna work. Aha, beautiful. Okay, so I've got that now on my computer. You know, if you're doing a CELTA, you, you could save it onto a USB stick or something like that if you want. I don't think it's gonna work with a cloud service like Google Drive or OneDrive. But yeah, and you just click and you've got your, your obviously your examples. Click the word for the symbol for the sound. And then you click hover over the little drop down and you get the words as well. So that's a really nice little tool. And I suppose to round it off, if we go for five, then let's say I would simply, and there's no, no magic here, just have a quick Google image search for phonemic chart. And there are a couple of nice ones out there. Um, if I go to images, okay, maybe I shouldn't really be doing this. I'm sure they're okay with it though, you know, in the spirit of education, share and share alike. Um, this is one I think that Adrian Underhill uses and you can just take a quick copy that into a Word document, for example, where I had my question. Copy and paste. I can just blow that up, drag it, make it a bit bigger. Let's see. And you can take that into your class with you. You might find that you want a slightly different version or you might like the color coded one, but obviously they're all there. Take whichever one you fancy and it should work. So hopefully with all of those, we had the sound sounds the pronunciation app from Macmillan, the introduction to teaching pronunciation workshop, the phonetic transcriptions website, phonemic chart, the interactive one to download from the British Council, and then just download a copy of the phonemic chart for yourself to print out and take the lessons. That's what I forgot to say. Take it with you, have it on hand at all times. It's nice and easy. I think paper is good because you can actually stick it up on the board. I know a lot of people might laminate it as well. So I hope that was useful and helps you learn them. And if anyone has any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And good luck with your CELTA course. Speak to you soon. Bye.